Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle B here once again we have another video and today we're going to look at my current Chucky Charles Play collection. Uh, got quite a few uh, bits in the collection now. Um, started collecting Chucky stuff uh, since about 2020. I started collecting all this stuff and yeah so let's take a look at what I've got currently in the collection. Um, so I'm going to start off with the two knicker head knockers that I've got. First one being obviously the um, it's the seed of seed of Chucky. Head knocker, um, which I've got off eBay. Got it uh, second hand, so it didn't cost much. I'm not sure if I got it for 20 or 15, I can't remember. Quite cheap on eBay. That's a good pickup. I wasn't actually going to get that uh, at the beginning, but then I uh, saw it was cheap, and then I really, I just really liked uh, the look of it. I think it's really nicely painted. Looks really good, so I decided to get that. And the other one is the Trial Blade Chucky 3 head knocker from the third movie, um, which again I got from eBay, and unfortunately it's damaged because uh, it was so cheap and. Uh, Second hand on eBay, um, being on budget it just works out cheaper, you know. So, so I did get that. It's a nice head knocker, I actually think the other one's better, actually, to be honest, but certainly better condition. Uh, I'm probably going to re replace that soon. Um, hopefully, this year, I'm going to replace it and get a better one, better, better condition. Get around to doing that at some stage, but it's still quite good. And obviously, next thing is the DVD movies. I've had now I've had these longer than uh, 2020. I've had these quite a number of years. Probably had these about 20 years now, or most of the earlier ones. Uh, had the early ones about 20 years, I think. Uh, first one, uh, second one, actually. I actually saw the second one before I saw the first one. Uh, actually, the first one was banned over here in England. Um, um, due to a um, crime incident that happened years ago, and the first one was banned. And because it had a bad influence on uh, criminals, so it got banned. And, uh, yeah, so I actually ended up seeing the second one. Um, but then I saw the first one shortly after um, and then obviously the third one Ride of Chucky Seed of Chucky and the ones that come out a bit later Curse of Chucky Old Chucky and obviously the remake Child Play which is not that great but it's not bad it's a nice idea but uh, certainly no match against the uh, originals and obviously when they start making the TV series now I've, uh, well, I'm not sure if they've done these instead of making any more films or because you know it sort of continued hasn't it from the uh, events of Cult Chuck it's just gone straight onto the TV series now so I've sort of I don't know whether they've abandoned doing the films altogether or whether they ever go back to them or whether they're just going to do a TV series now but yeah bit strange but you know, glad that the story continues so anyway was he carries on to start season one and then season two and then obviously season three started but that's not out on DVD yet and I haven't actually seen that so I'm gonna wait till it comes out on DVD to get it and then obviously they did the um, Living with Chucky uh, the documentary uh, which is only released on Blu-ray DVD uh, not on normal DVD 
got a, I wanted to get that. It's quite a good documentary. There's loads and loads of cool stuff uh, with discussions on it. So if you love Chucky, uh, there's loads of discussion and talking on that. Um, it's a pretty cool DVD. If you're a fan of all the franchise. Um, now the next thing I've got is pretty cool. Is the uh, mask. Which um, I got quite recently. It's the got bloody nose on the mask. And yeah, I didn't actually know there was a Chucky mask uh, until a short, short time ago when I was looking at masks and I saw it and thought, yeah, I'm going to definitely get that. Uh, so I hadn't, as I said, I hadn't actually seen one and I've not seen a Chucky mask in anyone's collection so I thought I decided to get it. And it's quite a good mask to be honest, it's not bad. It's not the best. Um, I do believe there's actually one uh, Tots that's, uh, but that's more expensive. Um, obviously better made, but this one is not too bad for the price. I think it was only about 13 or 14 pounds, so quite good. As I said, it's not a bad mask. And uh, the fourth uh, lot of stuff is the uh, bigger collection, um, which I've got on display. Now, I've chosen not, not to move these in this video because they're nicely on display and I don't want to uh, make them fall over so I'm just going to show you uh, the ones that are on display um, it just saves keep moving them so we've got the ultimate mega chucky uh, right there really really good figure and then we've got just in front of it we've got the blood splatter super 7 reaction uh, smaller figure which is quite a good figure but unfortunately the weapons don't seem to stay in his hands so not great and then we've got the one that I quite like is the McFarlane uh, Drive Play 2 Chucky figure which is I quite like it actually with the hair being like that a lot of people prefer the neck ones um, and yeah they're good but I quite like it with the hair being like that. and I like the chunkiness of it like it's, it's quite thick uh, bodied figure which I quite like and then the one in front of it is a uh, toy capsule small mini uh, figure Chucky uh, which I found on eBay a little while ago and it's a really good little figure uh, there's three of those in this set and then the next one next to that is the Chucky from Drive Play 3 um, which is not the best figures but um, it's alright, it's not bad. Um, unfortunately the one I've got is was in bad condition, um, second hand, uh, so I intend to replace that at some stage. And then there's that. And then another one, the uh, toy capsules from the Jackie minifigures uh, just before in front of that, another one of those. And then the last one on display is the um, McFarlane uh, Chucky from uh, Bride of Chucky, which is, I really do like that figure. It's probably actually one of my favourites, if not my favourite one, because uh, I just really like the damaged head sculpt on it. I think it's really, really good. Um, yeah, really great figure by McFarlane. And again, if you can see that there. Um, uh, is another one of the Chucky toy capsule figures in the collection set. Um, really good figure. And then the one that's the more recent one is the Chucky uh, TV series figure that NECA did. And that's the latest one that they did. And uh, I've chosen to uh, display it, actually keep it in the box uh, because not only is there not enough room to display it, but um, because my theme of the setup that I've got, you know, like the action horror main cave, it's just mainly 80s and 90s mostly. So this being more newer. So I decided to um, keep it and display it in the box. So, 
that's going to remain in the box and then the only time we're going to get it out is you know, to do these type of videos that's a pretty good one and then the last lot of stuff uh, currently is the uh, bust and statue collection the first one is the large uh, bust um, it's not made by any particular brand sort of like a uh, one that you print off 3d printing machine and then this one I've got for seller who prints them off for the machine and then paints them and that was one he painted and paid about £30 for it I think which was quite a good price for something like that big but, um, and then he painted it himself which is quite good really big uh, bust and then another one uh, that I've got um, I think I've got this one off of Amazon quite a quite a while ago and it's an unknown one and it's <laughs> this one is not the best one that you can get um, but it's just a lot of cheap sort of one uh, if you're on budget and you know you're looking to grab sort of other stuff and yeah this one was quite cheap I just saw it on eBay and as I said it, it's not the best one that you can get it's just a lot sort of cheap one and it wasn't very well painted and I've actually repainted it um, Try to do the best. I painted the hair more orange, and I painted the uh, overalls or coveralls, whatever you want to call it, more darker blue. And then I did the, I painted the arms as well. Um, so that was my sort of attempt to repaint it. It looks a lot better than what it was. Um, as I said, it's not 100%, but it's okay. Um, so there's that one, and the final thing in the current collection is the uh, Tots uh, Fruit Fruit Studios uh, bust, mini bust which is a nice little bust obviously it would be quite nice being Tots and yeah that is pretty cool bust so that's all the stuff in the uh, current collection guys um, going to be adding a lot more stuff uh, later on in the year uh, but that's it for now and yeah so guys I thought I'd show you what I had so far and um, obviously you've seen this stuff in other videos on the channel but you know I thought I was going to do one with all the stuff together um, so guys uh, that's going to be it for this um, hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and yeah see you guys next year Thanks for watching, take care, bye for now, see you soon.